Welcome to the presentation of how to configure NAT to allow internal users to access the internet. You want to permit internal users to access the internet, but you do not have enough valid addresses to permit all the users. If the communication with devices in the internet is originated from the internal devices, you require a single valid address or a pool of valid addresses. For this purpose, you are configuring NAT to allow some devices on the inside to initiate communication with the devices on the outside by translating the invalid addresses to a valid address or pool of addresses. The pool has range of addresses 172.16.10.1 through 172.16.10.63. Define Ethernet 0 with an IP address and use it as a NAT inside interface. This step defines the part of your internal network. Define Ethernet 1 with the IP address and use as a NAT inside interface. This step also defines the part of your internal network for the given scenario because Ethernet is also the part of the inside network. Define serial 0 with an IP address and use it as a NAT outside interface. This step defines the part of your external network to which it is required to connect the internal network. Define a NAT pool that is named as no overload with a 172.16.10.1 to 172.16.10.63 address range. When a NAT pool is configured, it can be used for automatic root injection. Make sure that packets received on the inside interface permitted by access list 5 has the source address translated to an address out of the NAT pool, no overload. This step saves all the changes you have made in the switch startup configuration mode. Access list 5 permits packets with source addresses ranging from 10 10 10 0 via 10 10 10 31 and 10 10 20 0 via 10 10 20 31 on issuing the following command thanks for watching the video